a lot, uh, a lot of film study. Um, a lot of film study on defense and seeing what defense tendencies are, looking at linebackers, looking at safety rotation, uh, seeing tendencies, looking at demeanor when people blitz. A lot of stuff that goes into it so you can be ready on Saturdays. A lot of treatment as well to make sure you're ready for your body. Um, a lot. Um, I would work out. Uh, when everybody left, I would come back and at like 1 or 2 in the morning, I had somebody with me throw me balls. And I would stay after practice every day to catch about 50 to 100 balls every day. Just so when I was putting in positions, um, I would always catch the ball. Not yet. No, sir. At this combine, no, sir. Uh, I will Thursday. Yes, sir. Yeah, all these bags. I mean, everybody here for a reason. All these, all these bags. Uh, I'm just blessed to be in a position with them. Uh, a lot of great bags in this class, and I'm just blessed to be um, part of one of the top guys. Uh, I don't know if I had to ask them. Um, I mean, I don't think when I run stuff, just kind of happen. I love running behind the old line that I did. I'm blessed to have them guys in front of me. Uh, favorite run in college, it definitely had to be probably that Kentucky run my sophomore year. I don't know how I did what I did, but it was amazing. It was amazing. Um, best part, I would say versatility. Um, my ability, God gave me a lot of ability just to do multiple things. Um, my ability to pass, pass catch, uh, pass block, pass protect, and um, just make something happen when there's nothing there most of the time. So. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm ready to go. Um, just a couple backs. Uh, I'll say Sean McCoy most definitely. Um, but watch him since I was young. Just the way he makes people miss open space, um, create mismatches. Christian McCaffrey as well, and how they use him in their offense, um, different situations, passing, pass catching the ball. Uh, just put him in space as well. No, 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 not yet. That'd be amazing. Just seeing how they used every each player differently. Um, that'd be amazing. See how they used Meat Cole was was nice too. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's a good friend of mine. I was with him last week. He was training at IMG in the off season. So we talked a lot about this process and how his process went. Uh, I'm when they're on a solid time. Um, so these coaches that I really can get out there and push it. I will. I'm not benching here, but I will do everything on the field. Um, like I said, every back here is here for a reason. There's a lot of great backs in this class, but um, I think um, I'm the most versatile back in this class. Um, I think uh, I'm a three-down back. I can do whatever I'm asked to do. God gave me a lot of God-given ability, so um, I don't take that for granted. I work hard every day. I'm a great leader. Um, yes, sir. Um, I, I, I didn't know what I was doing. Um, I kind of wanted to stay with the team for as long as I could. And um, it was such a brotherhood at Georgia, so I didn't want to let them guys think I was leaving and stuff like that. So it was just changing the locker room. But I just wanted to be with them guys for as long as I could and just take advantage of that. What would you say, sir? The brotherhood, like I said, just being around them guys every day in practice, just the laughs, the jokes, the locker room talk, just being around them. Like when we would go to bowling outside of football, just being around them guys every day. Uh, just not being stopped. Um, depending on the defense's back's leverage, the way he's coming at me, it's just a lot of stuff that go into it. But now I can really talk about it. When I'm in the play, I don't know what's going on, but to make people miss and try to score. But it's just a lot of different stuff um, going off his leverage, the way he's attacking me, and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, a place called Dallas Sandro's, people don't know about, and a place called Ishka Bibbles. Yeah. Oh, at the prep? That was amazing. Uh, I think it most prepared me for academically. Prep is the hardest academically school in uh, in the city of Philadelphia. So I struggled at first. Had to take Latin and Spanish as a freshman. So just being able to do that and like, I think if I got through prep, I could got through any, got through anything. So I did good academically as Georgia as well.
Yeah. Why, why, why would you do that? I, I catch myself just staying up sometimes thinking, so I'm like, why, why not go try to get better? Why not? Why not go do something to make myself better? I'm a person, I'm never settling. I'm always looking to get better because I'm never going to be perfect. Never. I don't speak Latin. I took Latin. Um, it didn't go too well, um, but I took it. Yes, sir. Um, amazing. Um, just Coach McGee and how he installed the um, term, different terminology, just allowing me to mature and take control of that room last year was big for me as well. Just putting me in different situations, um, just the offense. Um, the way coaches treated me, it was it's to a team when you get here. You really you really respect and um, thank Coach Smart and his staff for how they how they uh, prepared us. Yeah. We, we was warming up and I wasn't supposed to play at all. I'm got out there. I see the fans, the crowd, just the energy. And I goosebumps. Started catching kick returns. I I go to Coach McGee. I'm like, Coach, is there any way I could play? Any way? He like. What you want to do? I'm like, whatever you need me to do. I just want to be out here with these guys. Uh, I almost started crying that I wasn't going to be able to play, but I just wanted to be out there to do anything. So get out there, throw a little flea flicker back to Jake and get to George Pickens. It was amazing. You mentioned leadership. I think so. Um, I think you're never too young to lead. I learned that when I got to Georgia. Um, kind of fell into a role as my sophomore year being a leader. Just never being scared to be vocal and um, address the situations when they be needing to address and uh, knowing how to address the situations. Thursday. Yes, sir. Uh, you got to be tough. Got to be tough. You got to be willing. Willing to attack no matter who coming through that hole. I mean, that's part of the job. That's part of the, that's what I signed up for. So you got to be ready at all times. It was amazing, real mature when I first met him. When we came in as freshmen, um, we were kind of on the same road. Uh, took coaching real well. Um, just went about his business like he was already a pro. And if you could bring one teammate from Georgia with you to the next level, who would that team be? One? Um, that's hard to choose one. Um, I would I would, had, I would had to say Mark Webb. That's, that's, that's my blood cousin. Um, he's worked hard. We compete every day in practice, so that's who I would bring with me. Burden. Um, um, I don't look at it as a burden. Um, I believe um, 210 to 215 is a good range for me. Um, how I feel, I feel good. I feel like I do everything, do every aspect of the game. And um, I think whatever coach likes me within that weight and will take a chance on me, I appreciate it. Like to emulate, I like I like a lot of backs from the. I like watching Saquon, um, good friend of mine. I like watching all the backs that came through Georgia, doing a great job in their careers. I like watching Alvin Kamara, how they use him, as well as Christian McCaffrey. Contact. Yeah. Contact. Yeah, I met with them as well. I have a uh, formal with them on Thursday as well. No, sir, not yet. Uh, yeah, just showing the coaches like my ability and my value on the field. So really get to go out there and that work out and show them the type of back that they think I am and the type of back that I know I am. Yeah, that was kind of a question that people had. They didn't know if I could do that as much. And I, I've been put in that situation various amount of times last year. I think I succeeded at that situation. So um, just kind of showing everybody and showing the world that I really can do whatever I'm asked because God gave me a lot of a lot of ability. Uh, very little bit when I'm out of when I'm out of football. I like to go bowling um, with Solomon, Kenley, uh, Mark Webb, Andrew Thomas, Amir White. That's, we like to go bowling a lot. I do. Yes, sir. Tight zones, gap schemes, outside zone. Georgia offense prepared me for everything to talk with these interviews and related message to coaches about what I've been through as far as offenses. A lot. Um, I think I could be more patient um, as a running back. Uh, allow things to set up more, most definitely. I haven't. I've talked to him about a couple weeks ago when I was in training. I talked to him, Sony, and Todd. Kind of picked their brains, asked questions about the process and what to look for and different stuff like that. Uh, 
that'll be amazing. That's every kid dream. I mean, especially coming from the city I come from. Not a lot of good comes out of Philly. So just to make it out and be on this route that I'm on, um, I don't take it lightly. I don't take it for granted. So um, I know my city is supporting me. So it'll be a blessing just to be a group among these backs, a lot of great backs in this class. But just to be at the top, um, be mentioned at the top is a blessing. Out of my entire career, ooh, I would say that uh, that Alabama game, that um, I think it was pretty solid in that Alabama game my sophomore year, that sophomore year. No, not at all. I think the value is going up. I think a lot of running backs are doing a lot of different unique things, and especially a lot of backs here bring a lot of different stuff to the table. So I think a lot of eyes are on the running backs. Favorite memory? Uh, that Rose Bowl game was phenomenal. It was amazing. Just being on the sideline, watching the game, going to overtime, um, watching Sony win the game for us. It was just amazing just to be a part of that team. No, when I when I go into these formal interviews, they want to see me um, get on the board, draw up a front, and um, talk through protections. Uh, just want to just pick my brain as far as how I was as a leader and uh, my character as well. I would say I'm a, I'm a self-motivated guy. I don't really need anyone to tell me like get up, and go here, go get treatment. Um, I know. My body needs to be at a certain, in a certain shape and a um, certain way so I can put my best foot forward every week. So getting a lot of treatment and uh, just making sure my body is in the right shape. I draw up outside zone a lot. Outside zone. Uh, outside zone can hit outside. Could cut back. Um, that's what the ability to make people miss and uh, make them little wild plays happens outside zone for me a lot. Yeah. I, I, w I wouldn't say it's my signature move. I've just been put in those positions a lot, so it just kind of happens. I wouldn't say that. I don't have a signature move. I just kind of do what I need to do. Yeah. No, nah, we, we kind of know what's, what's going on on that side, so we don't talk about it a lot. Can you speak? I can't hear you. I'm a lot. Um, that's where I get my mentality from. Um, can't help it. Uh, tough mindset. Um, gritty guy. Um, compete. Love to compete. Um, never back down from a challenge. Stuff like that. It's everything Philly that's in me, so that's why I played again the way I played. Very high. Him and all the other backs that's, that's with him. James Cook, uh, Kenny McIntosh, the new one, Ken, Kendall Milton. Coach McGee is going to do a great job with them. I can't wait to see what they do. But I'm so excited for them guys. So excited. Get out, stay low, and get a good 10. Yeah, um, if you've been training for it, I hope so. I hope so. Zero is in the discussions to pass this guy. Now that you've left Georgia, who do you think uh, gets that crowd? Ooh, Tyson Campbell. Tyson Campbell. Eric Stokes, still, yeah. Them two, for sure. Yes, sir. Just the history. Um, how, how Georgia produces backs and produces a lot of positions. And, um, and they're doing well in the league, so you got to kind of contribute that to Georgia and the coaching staff and how they prepare you for this next level. Mm -hmm. Just to always ask questions, always ask questions, um, and always stay ready so I got to get ready. Um, I haven't really got any tough questions. Um, Really, the toughest part was uh, when I was drawing yesterday in one of the interviews, and they was kind of talking to me. So I kind of turned around to trying to get them attention, but they wanted me to keep drawing. So kind of multitask and um, just keep keep working on the board. Dance move. Yeah, I, I dance a lot when uh, when I'm around them guys. Uh, we like to have fun. Last question. How much did you Take from this year how positive of an experience was that for you to assume that team leadership role after 
Jake kind of faded away in the second half? It was amazing. I don't think Jake faded away. Um, I think my role was kind of unique and amazing because when I would speak, I think they would listen because uh, how I carried myself on and off the field, I was looked at as kind of a role model for the young guys and um, somebody that was doing it right. So when I would talk, they would listen. Like when we lost to South Carolina, I asked Coach Smart, could I address the team before the team meeting? Kind of told the guys what needed what needed to be said. Thank you, everybody. This is for you right here. Take that.